In this dynamics tutorial, we're going to take a look at particle forces. So if we go to simulate on the particles, we can see all these different forces. And these are actually supposed to be used for um, thinking particles. But um, you can actually use most of them for dynamics. So I'm just going to go through each uh, type of force and show you what each one does. So the only two we can't really use is deflector and destructor. These are exclusive to particles. So I'm just going to create a floor. And I'm just going to turn on line mode. I'm going to create a cloner. And throw in some spheres in there. Maybe a cube. I'm just going to scale them down. Uh, I'm going to set the cloner to grid array. I'm just going to zoom out a bit. So I'm going to select cloner, go to tags, simulation tags, rigid body. And we need to set inherit tag to apply tag to children. So everything moves individually. And then individual elements, all. So I'm just going to add a rigid body tag to the floor object, play back the simulation and we get this type of result. Okay, so first I'm going to add an attractor. So this is quite cool, I'm going to put the attractor over here, play back the simulation and all the objects are drawn towards the attractor. The strength isn't high enough, so I'm just going to bump that up to uh, 100. And you can see these objects wanting to come over to the attractor over here. I'm just going to make that 1000. And now we can definitely see the effect. It's a bit extreme. I'm just going to go down to 500. So the cool thing uh, with these particle forces is we can use fall off. So I'm just going to go to fall off and set it to sphere. So basically only this area is uh, influencing the spheres. So if I just put this over here and I'm just going to make the strength 300. Basically, only the objects that fall inside of this fall-off zone are drawn to the attractor, and the rest of them just uh, behave normally. And you can basically use this fall-off principle for all of the particle forces. And we can actually modify this while the simulation plays. I'm just going to turn off fall-off. Okay, next I'm going to take a look at friction. So friction is basically kind of like damping. Um, it just simply kind of slows down the simulation as if it's moving through sort of viscous liquid. So if I just play this back, strength set to 10, you can definitely see it's uh, sluggish. So I'm going to set the strength to 100 and it really kind of slows down the simulation as if it's moving through oil. Okay. Next we have gravity. So this gravity is like additional to the project gravity. Um, as you know, we have gravity under edit project settings, dynamics general, and then here we have a gravity setting. Uh, by default, it's set to 1000, but I set it to 981 because that's the uh, true value. It's uh, physically accurate. So if I just make this zero, play the simulation back, um, you can see the gravity is working, but uh, it's not this gravity, it's the gravity force. And if I set that to 5, 
can see that it's really slowed down the simulation. The cool thing about gravity is you can actually change its direction. So if I just move it this way and just increase the strength, now it's kind of moving diagonally. I'm just going to rotate it again. You can see this kind of yellow arrow. That's the gravity direction. And now the objects are moving up. So I'm just going to add fall off to this sphere. I'm going to make it quite big. And uh, put it over here. So you can see only a few of the objects are affected. The ones that fall in the fall off zone. Okay. Next we have rotation. So this is quite interesting. Um, it's basically a rotation force, simply put. I'm just going to set my gravity back to 1000. And we need to increase the strength to see a kind of noticeable result. Set it to 200. It's maybe too strong. Um, obviously the angle is uh, causing a problem. Yeah. So this is actually the result I was looking for. Basically the rotation force was uh, tilted the kind of wrong way. So yeah, basically another thing to look out for is with these forces that uh, the kind of direction, the rotation really makes a difference to the simulation. So I'm just going to try this without the fall off, just infinite, see what happens. And uh, yeah, we get this kind of quite interesting result actually. Pretty cool. And uh, we've got mode force acceleration, which uh, causes them to kind of rotate around the point. Aerodynamics wind is something completely different. Uh, I'm not going to go into that just now. Okay, next after rotation, we have turbulence, and that basically just adds kind of a bit of uh, chaos into the scene. So it's actually, um, if you want your simulation to be a bit more erratic, then this is a good option. I'm just going to increase it a bit more, uh, maybe a bit more. So 400, and you can see that just everything's just bouncing around randomly. It's just a global turbulence force, and as usual, you can use fall off to control it. Okay. Uh, we have wind, finally. So wind, as you can see, it has a direction this uh, yellow arrow. So if I just play back the simulation, the wind's, uh, the wind's basically pushing everything along the direction of the yellow arrow. So I'm just gonna tilt this up, see what happens. That's a bad example, but maybe this way. No, everything's getting blown this way. So uh, these can be very useful for just kind of tidying up your simulations or uh, if there's an object that's behaving kind of erratically, you can use these forces like friction to kind of control it. 
And um, if you found this tutorial useful, please share it. And thanks for watching.